You're watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. This morning's weather is sponsored by 100% Colombian coffee, the richest coffee in the world. We're checking our current weather map, and we're going to show you that very intense storm still located, uh, located now over much of New England. It was passing over New York City several hours ago. Actually, during the night, Boston, Massachusetts saw uh, some light, continuous rainfall with a strong southerly wind. The same thing happened around New York City. As anything to the east of this area, low pressure, saw the stronger south and southwesterly winds, but to the west of there was a raging blizzard. We saw that develop around Syracuse, Watertown, New York, and also around Albany and southwestward into central Pennsylvania, like around State College. 26 inches of snowfall there, and it could actually be a little bit more than that around State College. But look at Syracuse, another couple of inches of snowfall during the last couple of hours. But the good news now around Syracuse and Albany, the snow is beginning to light up just a little bit. Burlington, Vermont, 19 inches of snowfall. It's coming down very hard right now. The same thing around Portland. And for much of western Maine and northern Maine, it looks like another 6 to 12 inches by sunrise tomorrow morning. The storm history, again, we were watching it develop early last, make that last week, late in the week, around Alabama, all the way down towards northern Louisiana, with some light snow breaking out Friday morning. Then things really got interesting Friday night and Saturday morning over northeastern Alabama, over towards Atlanta as well. And then up the chute we go into New England. We saw that band of heavy snowfall. We see the white shading there. At least a foot of snow has fallen. Some cases two, three to four feet of snow. And it is still coming down. It looks like the worst of it right now over eastern New York, north of New York City, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. You're going to bear the brunt of it during the next 24 hours. And we'll check on something else which has been happening in the wake of that very deep storm system, some record lows. Snow cover, of course, all the way down towards the Gulf Coast near Mobile. And we've seen some clear skies, diminishing winds overnight over parts of Georgia, Alabama, and the Mississippi. And look at the record lows beginning to shape up. Wherever you see a dot here, a blue dot, that's a record low. From Michigan all the way down to the Gulf Coast, west of Texas we go. Some of the numbers, Jackson, Michigan was down to one. Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama was down to two degrees above zero. Columbus, Ohio was 10, as well as Springfield, Missouri. And you can see around Montgomery, some record lows there. And we'll check on a few more numbers again. Mobile with that snow cover on the ground, 25 degrees. And Austin, Texas was down to 28. So you can see some very interesting weather developing across this part of the country. Again, we could be looking at more record lows by early morning tomorrow. We'll check on your good morning forecast, and we'll show you what's going to be happening during the next, well, let's say, 24 hours for sure. Our major winter storm beginning to move eastward rather rapidly now by later this afternoon. It's going to exit Maine. What is not going to be exiting Maine will be those strong northwesterly winds, which will buffet much of New York City and Boston as you look at the next 24 hours. Looks like our main concern now is going to be the blowing and drifting of the snowfall, except for upstate New York and mostly Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. You'll be looking at the brunt of the heavier snowfall. Forget about the light rainfall for New York City and Boston. You're back to frozen precipitation from this point forward. Southeastern part of the country, very nice today, but it's going to be a slow melt after a very chilly start around Birmingham and also Atlanta. And for the northwest, here comes some more precipitation on board there. And watch out early morning tomorrow. High pressure centered over South Carolina. We could be looking at more record lows. The peach crop, tender vegetation, it looks like it's going to be a real wicked situation over a good chunk of South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and of course even central and northern Florida, which could be looking at a hard freeze. We'll check on some of that precipitation right now. It's going to get a little bit heavier now for the northwest. Of course, everything throughout New England will be in the form of snow. It looks like it's going to be Maine, Vermont, to New Hampshire. will be bearing the brunt of the heavier snowfall from this point forward. Looks like things are beginning to quiet down now around Syracuse and Albany, New York, but still you're going to be looking at a couple of inches of new snow. Forecast highs in the Sunday afternoon. Still very, very chilly with the Arctic air pouring southward on, 
on the backside of our very deep trough of low pressure system right now over the eastern part of the country. But look at sunny Southern California, ridge of high pressure here, but it will begin the breakdown that's going to allow some more clouds to come back into the picture. And you can see early morning tomorrow, much of the country is going to be chilly. And for the next several days, finally some warming weather now spreading from California and Arizona into Texas, melting the snow in Alabama and Georgia as you look at Wednesday and Thursday. But it's going to, re going to remain rather chilly throughout much of New England. So snow melt there is not going to be happening anytime soon. We'll track a couple of more systems for you as well. One system will be zipping through the upper Mississippi Valley by Monday afternoon. A stronger one will also be reappearing on the map as you look at Wednesday and Thursday. But it looks like finally by Tuesday and Wednesday, rain for a change over the southeast. Looks like some more snow for New England. And then by Thursday, a better chance of more showers and thunderstorms, this time from Missouri all the way down to the Gulf Coast. No wonder so many people's preferences lean toward 100% Colombian coffee. It's the richest coffee in the world, and picked by Juan Valdez. Look for the symbol of Juan Valdez on these fine 100% Colombian coffee brands. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the current local conditions. The regional forecast. Your local 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. radar showing any precipitation and its movement during the past 90 minutes. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. Now on video, 45 minutes of fast tornado action plus the 1993 tornado calendar. Just 1995. Call 1-800-525-6600. Most time once again to check on our skiers forecast. The skiers forecast this go around is sponsored by Chrysler Plymouth. In the car business, you lead, follow, or get out of the way. And we'll check out once again some of the clouds. It looks like finally a ridge of high pressure throughout the west will begin to break down. It's going to allow some wetter and some whiter weather to return to the far western states during the next several days. Looks like a more important and more potent system here will be affecting the west too as you look at later Tuesday and Wednesday. So as far as any new snowfall goes, not too much to report in any locations. Basically we're looking at powder to packed powder conditions in just about all locations as well. Some very good bases out west, that will continue because no strong uh, warming or melting is expected anytime soon. So one system does come aboard later today and also tonight. Looks like some more snows will begin to scoot across the Rockies, the Wasatch Range of Utah, and also in the parts of Idaho. Looks like another very strong system beginning to deepen and move southward across the Oregon and the Washington coastline today, heading in this direction that could enhance the snowfall for the Cascades as you look at the next 24 hours. And then by Monday, some more rain for Northern California, snow in the higher terrain, and another system by late Tuesday.
for ski conditions at over 400 other ski areas, call 1-900-WEATHER. Ooh, what's this? She sees my V6. Oh, buy me, please buy me. Ooh, she likes my spoiler, my low-profile tires, sports suspension. She wants me. Uh-oh, she thinks I'm too expensive. I can fix that. <laughs> Perfect. Ow! Duster. A lot to love for under 10,000 from Chrysler Plymouth. I'm so happy. My boyfriend will love it. I'm so unhappy. Chrysler Plymouth, a division of Chrysler Corporation, proudly sponsors the U.S. Men's and Women's Pro Ski Tour. Now for the Cyanate Society, here's Michael Learned. Because I have sinus problems just like you, I want you to know about Maximum Strength Cyanate Gel Caps, the most potent pain and pressure reliever in Cyanate history combined with state-of-the-art gel cap technology. So you get powerful sinus relief that's easy to swallow and won't cause drowsiness. It really works for me, and I hurt just like you. Maximum Strength Cyanate Gel Caps, the potency of Cyanate in a patented gel cap. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. in your area. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. I love Walmart. I mean, <laughs> I shop it everywhere I go. When we're traveling, ah, let's go to Walmart. <laughs> where was it? Where were we at? In the mountains. I don't know. They just opened a new Walmart, and I said, aren't we going to stop and go in and see it? <laughs> he thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> but I tell him, see, look how much money I saved, honey. <gasps> but yeah, I'm Walmart crazy. <laughs> Walmart, always the low price, always. Looks like some more bad traveling across much of New England during the course of the next 12 to 18 hours, especially today and also into early this evening because of strong gusty winds. We're looking at low pressure beginning to move northward now to the north of New York City. On the backside, we're looking at strong westerly winds. Here it comes now to New York. We're looking at winds gusting to 40 to 45 miles per hour. The same thing will be happening around Boston. Maybe some stronger gusts. And as far as blowing and drifting and snow goes, it's going to be re real wicked here as you look at this afternoon and early this evening. Still looking at some snow showers back in West Virginia and finally back into California as we head in, into the west. We're looking at some more clouds and some lighter showers here. Of course, in the higher terrain, it's going to mean some more snow. Could be crossing the Wasatch Range of Utah tonight. Not a major burst of snowfall here. And look at New England. Say goodbye to the big storm. Late tonight, the snow will really begin to taper off over much of northern New England, but not the winds. The winds will be sticking around, and they could be very dangerous right through tonight. Call the Weather Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER, before you hit the road, and you'll be prepared for any weather old man winter brings. For 20 years, H&H &H Auto Parts has been serving Sussex County with affordable auto parts, and our knowledgeable staff can assist you with any questions that you may have. Our machine shop and store are open seven days a week for your convenience. To assure fast delivery, we have installed two-way radios in all of our delivery vehicles. H&H &H Auto Parts stock over a half a million dollars in auto parts, so we have what you need when you need it. We also have access to over $35 million in parts overnight. H&H &H Auto Parts, Routes 94, Vernon, open seven days a week. Memories last a lifetime. Your photograph should too. Don't take chances with your film processing.
Watch the five-day business planner here on the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after every hour. You get a comprehensive national report that covers the forecast over the next five days. Watch the five-day business planner coming up soon on the Weather Channel. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. Special regional information. forecast the current local radar showing any precipitation in your area intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen now Barney that lovable purple dinosaur is available on home video it's a collection your preschooler will love offered only from time life video Cause that's a rule that stays the same. Call this toll-free number now so your children can have their first Barney video. Caring means sharing for $9.99. Then every other month or so, your child will receive other fun Barney videos, like playing it safe and be a friend. And if you order with your credit card, you'll receive a free Barney and Concert audio tape featuring your child's favorite Barney songs. I love you. How to order. To receive the Barney and Friends Caring Means Sharing video for $9.99, call this toll-free number. Use your credit card and receive a free Barney audio cassette. Call now. Still tracking a very intense storm system. Major storm which developed during the last couple of days all the way down in the parts of Alabama and Georgia and moved northward, of course. We're looking at the center of the storm passing well north of New York City. Watch out again around New York and into around Boston. Now you'll be looking at strong westerly winds during the next let's say six to eight hours for sure. It could be gusting up to 60, 70, maybe 80 miles per hour. It's happened all the way northward along the coast. It could be happening again. So even though we saw sort of a lull in the storm this morning around New York City and Boston with some light rain and some diminishing winds, the strong winds have come back in vengeance now across much of uh, the New York metro area up towards Boston. It's gonna be lasting all day long. As far as radar goes, we can show you exactly what's happening again. The bulk of the heavier snow during the last couple of hours around Syracuse, New York, although it's beginning to taper off there. Now it's Vermont, New Hampshire, if much as central and in northern and western Maine, looking at the very heavy precipitation. It's all tracking on towards the northeast at a fairly good clip. Watch out for more snow squalls down towards the south. Something this wild can never be tamed. Something this elusive can never be captured. Never. Until now. Catch something wild and take it home with the National Geographic Wildlife Video Collection. Just listen to what the critics have said. These shows rank as national treasures. Begin with African Wildlife, your first video for only $9.95. It's Africa as you've never seen it before. Then, about every other month, you'll receive another video from this award-winning collection. It doesn't get any wilder than this. The National Geographic Wildlife Video Collection. Here's how to order. Use your credit card to order. Call 1-800-544-7900 or send $9.95 plus $2.95 shipping and handling to National Geographic Video, Box 96575, Department F, Washington, D.C. If you would take a star and put it next to a house, if you could, a star would be like 20 feet bigger than the house. When it's nighttime in our world, it's day in their world. By they providing 70% of all television designed for children, your local cable company is making sure there's more to kids' TV than Saturday morning. If there's no gravity right now, you can jump all the way over those trees. All of them. Wow. 
Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. in your area. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. Good morning, five-day business planner time, and we're going to start you out first of all with a radar picture to show you uh, where the snow is happening right now around Rochester, Syracuse, Houghton, Maine, uh, Providence, all reporting in with the heaviest snows at this hour, and uh, this stuff is trucking to the north uh, at a pretty good clip right now. We see snows tapering off across central parts of New York, aside from uh, Syracuse. But uh, notice around Lake Ontario, later on this afternoon, we're going to see a swath of snow develop around the lake effect areas. And this stuff here will start to taper off. But then we're going to have to deal with the winds this afternoon. Let's check out our maps and see what we expect. We do expect some of the western-facing slopes as the winds come howling in out of the northwest to see some pretty good snows. Another foot possible in uh, western parts of Maine. Lesser amounts as you head down to the south, except for around Lake Ontario. All right, uh, by midday today, then, this thing really is moving very quickly. A couple of hours ago, it was around uh, Connecticut. Now it's already moved into New Hampshire, the area of low pressure. But that doesn't mean anything because it's so powerful that we're still seeing the wraparound moisture from this thing as it's coming on through. And the howling winds and the cold air building in is squeezing out any moisture that's left in the atmosphere. And this thing will be well out of here by this afternoon into Canada, but we're still going to be talking about still the areas of heavy snow that I showed you on the map. In the West, uh, poor people in the West, we've been kind of ignoring you over the last couple of days here. We're talking about rain from Seattle down to Northern California today. Not significant accumulations here, but the rains will start to move inland and we could see some snows across parts of the higher elevations. But right now, uh, it's been so very warm that the uh, snow levels are actually very high. By tomorrow morning then, high pressure builds in across the eastern United States here. So we have seen many record lows this morning and would not be surprised to see the same situation tomorrow as that cold air comes on down bleeds into the southeast, it's coming over that snowpack, the winds are dying on down, and that means uh, record lows all over the place. Here comes a couple more systems then continuing to trek in the midsections here. Looks like we're going to have a blustery day in the upper Midwest tomorrow. Today's highs will be in the 30s, very chilly across the deep south, even colder as you head to the northeast, folks. So bundle up, stay home, do not hit the roadways today. Let's just face it, the roadways are basically impassable. Temperatures tonight dropping to record lows all over the place here, and then uh, Still very chilly in the northeast, but we do see a gradual warm-up as we head into the next couple of days across the south. The sad thing is uh, all the trees probably have really taken a hit from this storm, and as the thing's starting to warm up and that snowpack starts to melt, that's going to lead to some problems by Thursday and Friday as temperatures back in the 60s. Give me your money. If this reminds you of the last seafood restaurant... I like the watch. You ordered shrimp in. Maybe you ought to try Shoney. Give me the ring. Now give me the toupee. How's your shoney spaghetti, Bobby? Swell. And how's your shrimp, dear? Just swell. How's your steak, honey? Swell. I signed up for two lessons. <laughs> swell. Shoney's Breakfast Bar, the best breakfast in town. Hi, I'm in this commercial because I'm not an expert on nutrition. I mean, who is? Thank goodness I found Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. In this one cereal, I get everything I want. I get whole grain, I get lots of fiber, and look at this, I get 14 really good vitamins and minerals. So, how does Kellogg's get all this stuff into one cereal? I don't know. I just eat it. Get Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. Everything you want, right here. Good morning. Our cold weather alert is sponsored by the Sears Die Hard Battery for more power when you need it. Okay, folks, uh, I hope that you have a good battery because we've had several record lows this morning across uh, the eastern third of the United States. And actually, you're, 
don't even fire up the car today. Let's just stay home. The roadways are definitely a disaster area with all the snow we've had. Now we're going to start dealing with the winds coming in out of the northwest and west at about 50 miles an hour, so that's going to lead to some problems. In fact, we've had reports of 40 people that have lost their lives from this storm along the east coast due to trying to venture out in the storm. So just sit tight. Uh, tonight it's going to be extremely cold from northern Maine all the way through West Virginia. We're going to see temperatures well below zero. So once again, a record-setting day uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. Look at these wind chills tomorrow, 20 to 40 below zero, even colder across northern Maine. T uh, temperatures for tomorrow will start to moderate slightly in the south. We'll try to get some warmer area in here across Texas. Still very nice in the deserts of the southwest there. And temperatures still remaining in the single digits in the teens across the northeast. Tem uh, the winds will die down tonight, uh, but we'll still be dealing with some breezy conditions tomorrow. There's a reason more people go to Sears for a new battery. I can't believe I left my lights on. Only Sears has the Die Hard. Sears is so confident of Die Hard starting power. If you need a jump, Sears will do it absolutely free. Anytime, anywhere. Even if you leave your lights on. That's stranded once. Never again. You can count on Die Hard. Me. More power when you need it most. Not long ago, the fellas over at the country club gave Ed Hensel a little party. You see, in over 40 years, Ed, Ed never missed a day at the club. Every afternoon, just after three, like clockwork, there's Ed. Ed. A banker by trade Ed. is a master at knowing just how to fill all that leisure time. Unfortunately, banker's hours may not be your hours when buying a car. So finance your new vehicle with GMAC right at your GM dealership. Nobody knows more about auto financing and leasing. And we don't keep Ed. banker's hours. GMAC, available right at your GM dealer. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Good morning, Tri-State. It's uh, Sunday morning and it's very chilly out there. And you may want to venture out and get a newspaper this morning, but let's just stay home. We'll keep you in tune with what's going on here at the Weather Channel. We've got a high wind warning in effect for us today as we're looking at winds to come out of the west, northwest at about 40 to 50 miles an hour. And that's going to mean wind chills brutally cold out there. And we're also going to have some light flurries throughout the area. We've already seen several inches of snow and it will be blowing around today. And so those roadways are going to be definitely very dangerous. So definitely stay home today and maybe tomorrow we'll see improving conditions as the sun comes back out. All right, uh, 48 and 33, the normals for today. 10.2 actually was the official report at Central Park as far as our snowfall. That was a record for the date yesterday. And uh, right now we've just got some light snow flying throughout uh, the tri-state region. 21 degrees currently at Central Park. But the winds are going to be the big problem today. As we look at winds of the west gusting to 31 right now, that is bringing our wind chill down to about 6 degrees below zero. And uh, you know what? That wind is really going to increase this afternoon. We could see gusts upwards of 60 miles an hour today as the winds come on through when the low pressure moves out of the region. Currently very chilly as you head to the north around Newburgh. We've got 18 degrees. We've got light flurries spread throughout Long Island and most of uh, New Jersey this morning. But it's been rather on the light side, which is certainly good news. Probably maybe one to two more inches of snow we could see from this storm. And then it's up and out of here. And then we're just dealing with the aftermath, trying to dig out your cars and so forth and try to get back to normal with this storm passing on through. Show you on the satellite picture now, uh, area of low pressure moving quickly out of the way. Uh, earlier it was around Connecticut. Now it has already moved up into New Hampshire. It's moving very rapidly up and even off the picture. But we do have a lot of wraparound moisture, a lot of cold air filtering in. And what's happening is this cold air is really squeezing what's left of the moisture in the atmosphere out. Therefore, we're still talking about flurries. And uh, please do not travel today, folks. I know that the roadways. Uh, basically around your neighborhood may be clearing out and so forth, but still some problems there. A lot of uh, folks around Pennsylvania advising absolutely no travel, you have only emergency vehicles on the roads today. So let's keep that in mind and stay home. Here's where our areas of snow are still. Uh, you see the snow starting to increase across parts of Maine now as that uh, low pressure moves through the area. For our area, just looking really for the very light flurries not even picked up here on the radar. Okay, let's check it out for you then. Area of low pressure here over New Hampshire moving quickly out of the region. Heavy snows will pick up across the lakes today and we'll be dealing with those brutally cold winds as uh, we're seeing right now and we'll continue to see throughout the afternoon. 
High pressure builds in, so later on tonight we could see some clearing, possibly by tomorrow morning. Record lows set throughout the entire area. Temperatures tonight will drop in, or today should be in the 20s, with the wind and the light snow dropping into the teens and single digits to the north. New storm in here by Wednesday. This is the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For accurate weather forecasts at your convenience, 24 hours a day. And good morning and thanks for tuning in to the Weather Channel. We've got quite a busy day here at the Weather Channel. Our waking up weather this morning is sponsored by Mountain Grown and Folgers Coffee. Folgers, the best part of Wake It Up. Okay, folks, let's check it out for you then and show you uh, our area of low pressure now over about Portsmouth, uh, New Hampshire, actually. So this thing is really on the move. It's been moving very quickly over the last uh, couple of hours. So it's gained steam and it's moving out of here. And I guess that's uh, one bit of good news that we have to talk about because if it was sticking around, we'd be talking about more snow. And we certainly don't need it. We've seen our share of snow throughout the area. Very, very windy conditions uh, associated with this area of low pressure. So now we've seen the snow across a good majority of the northeast and the eastern coast. And now we're dealing with the winds. And that still has the possibility of uh, blowing around those tree limbs and so forth that have all the heavy snow on it. They could be falling on the power lines, so we still have to be prepared for that. And I hope that you have batteries and some wood in the house in preparation for that. Things uh, a little bit rainy along the west coast this morning. We're talking about rain from Seattle to Portland down throughout San Francisco. And that will be the case as we watch this system move inland. But we want to focus our attention on this for the time being here. Forty people have lost their lives on the roadways and so forth with this storm. So it is a dangerous situation. I definitely advise no traveling today. If you do not have to be on the roadways, it's still Sunday. You don't have to go back to work yet, so let's stay in. Uh, watch a movie, stay with us at the Weather Channel, read a book, whatever, and just stay home until we get the roadways cleared for you. So this thing continues to move up and out of here. We have seen a major, major swath of snow from this from around Birmingham all the way up to parts of Maine. Caribou coming in with several, actually over a foot of snow now on the ground, and that swath of snow just continues to pile up. Several locations in the Appalachians have picked up over four feet of snow. So when you're measuring in feet, you're talking about a powerful storm. 31 uh, inches in Syracuse, Albany 27 inches. That is a record. Several of these totals that you're seeing here are all-time records for these locations. In State College, 26 inches with about 10-foot drifts around the region. So that shows the intensity of this thing with those winds coming on in. I mean, nothing can make it through a 10-foot drift. So let's keep that in mind. 24-hour snow total uh, records then shows us around Pittsburgh, most of West Virginia, on back throughout Chattanooga, and even into Huntsville and Birmingham. We've seen record 24-hour snow totals with this thing as it came on by. Let's show you our satellite picture right now and show you where that storm is. It's moving very quickly, as I mentioned. A lot of these clouds you see down the Atlantic is an indication of the very chilly air associated with this, and we're dealing with some snow coming on through the region, and uh, we could see heavy snows today around Lake Ontario over towards Syracuse with the heaviest of snows and starting to move up into Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. That's going to be the hardest hit area today. The rest of the area from New York City southward, we're going to be talking about flurries, possibly accumulations of one, two, three, and even four inches in some locations. But other than that, the snow is coming to an end, but the winds are not. Let's take you back to the maps then and show you we expect wintry travel from Maine all the way down through uh, West Virginia. We're looking at snowy travel as well in the west, especially the higher elevations as uh, we watch the system move into the coastal areas tonight. The snow tapers off and moves basically into Maine. Uh, Minnesota could see a little bit of snowy travel and as well the mountains of the west moving into parts of Colorado. Wind, of course, has been the big story with this thing as well. Just as much as the snow has, the wind has indeed. 30 miles per hour or greater, greater in the area shaded in the blue here. Here's just some of the wind gusts right now. This is in knots, so if we figured out about uh, 43 knots in New York City, that equals to about 50 mile per hour gusts throughout the area. So that's dangerous, and it's also dangerous if you step outside with these kind of wind chills. 20 to 30 below zero wind chills out there from Detroit all the way into Washington, D.C. right now with 8 degrees. So things are starting to taper off to the south, but we've still got the brutal winds across uh, this area here. So we want to be very careful as you head out the door. Record lows, I mean, they are falling by the wayside everywhere from Michigan all the way to North Carolina with that fresh pack of snow on the ground. We can see the records are just coming one after another, and that will be the case again tomorrow morning. 20 degrees right now in New York City. We've got 19 in Atlanta, so extremely chilly into the deep south with the new snowpack on the ground. 46 right now in Seattle. We've got some rain around 56 as well 
and rain in San Francisco. Here's our wind chills then. We can see brutal wind chills really from International Falls with 23 below zero to Atlanta, Georgia with six below zero. So it's definitely not a picnic out there. And the Weather Channel located in Atlanta, I can uh, vouch for it. It is cold out there with that new snow on the ground. Okay, here we go. There's the low up and out of here by midday today. And by this afternoon, it moves off the map basically. And we're just gonna be talking about some heavy snows lingering the western parts of Maine where we could see some accumulations there. By tomorrow morning, this high pressure builds in across the region. That means clearing skies, diminishing winds, and brutally cold air. Not a night to be outside, actually not a day to be outside. Let's just stay home and uh, relax for a little bit. New systems coming into the west brings rain and mountain snows. We'll see some accumulations uh, about half an inch or so along the coastal areas. Most of this stuff here falling in the form of snow. We could see another foot in the western facing slopes of Maine and some heavier amounts as well from Rochester to Syracuse. Temperatures today brutally cold in the uh, eastern third of the nation there. We see some of the warmest air in Texas and then tomorrow morning folks stay inside. Uh, the cars are probably not even going to want to start tomorrow morning with temperatures 10 below zero or greater. Highs Monday into Tuesday. We take you through the next couple of days and we notice that the temperatures gradually warm up across the south. That's also going to mean some troubles as we try to melt that snowpack. So I assume there will be flooding problems by the time all is said and done at the end of the week as the 10 to 12 inches of snow that we saw in the southeast quickly starts to melt. Okay, here's this system that we're seeing now in the west, kind of skids itself out across the, the north where light snow and snow showers will spread. And believe it or not, by Tuesday we could already see some mix moving into the northeast with more snow by Wednesday. Every morning, everywhere, when the sun wakes up the sky, let just be there to open up your eyes. Your local forecast this morning is sponsored by Wheaton Worldwide Moving, moving America from sea to shining sea. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the current local conditions. The regional forecast. Your local 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. precipitation and its movement during the past 90 minutes. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. A piano is often considered the biggest challenge a moving company faces. As the official mover for Steinway & Sons Pianos, Wheaton Worldwide Moving met that challenge by moving the 500,000 Steinway on a year-long tour of the U.S. without a scratch. With the same care and attention to detail, Wheaton professionals will move what's most important to you and your family. For our free money-saving brochure, call 1-800-248-4810. For information on how Wheaton can orchestrate your next move, call our customer services representative at 1-800-248-4810. Get a good start to your morning with this morning's weather, 25 and 58 minutes after every hour, between 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. Eastern, only on the Weather Channel. <laughs> Poor Newton. I know it's hard being here with so little to do all day, but Maytag builds them to last longer and need fewer repairs. <laughs> Look at them, icons of indestructibility. No wonder we Maytag repairmen are lords of loneliness, sultans of solitude. I know how you feel. 
That ache inside for the dinner. Hey, now there's something I can fix. Maytag, the dependability people. Good morning. It's a busy Sunday morning here at the Weather Channel as we continue to watch this area of low pressure move up the coast and up and out of here, but not before dumping record snows across much of the eastern United States. And now folks are just sort of sitting tight until the road crews uh, can catch up with all the snow. So please stay home. Please stay with us at the Weather Channel. I will keep you updated on all the current information that I get. But first, here's some forecasts for today. great magazine but it was sometimes a safe magazine tv guys not safe anymore we take risks we go off and we ask people the tough questions we get behind the scenes nobody else can do that because they don't have the contacts and they're not inside the industry like we are call and subscribe to the new tv guide now and get four issues free tv guide is the authority on television we are better than every newspaper in america because we are complete, we are accurate, we are credible. Order now. You'll receive 41 issues billed in four payments of $8.89 each. And you'll receive four more issues free with your paid subscription. That's a total of 45 issues. People love nuggets, little bits and pieces and gossip items. The difference with the gossip in TV Guide is that you can believe it. So order today and get four issues free. Just call 1-800-257-5500. If it's on TV, it'll be in TV, guys. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. forecast. The current local radar showing any precipitation in your area. The intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. From the Weather Channel, America's primary source for weather information, the Weather Classroom, a complete unit for teaching basic meteorology, climatology, and our environment. The Weather Classroom, an 80-page fully illustrated textbook workbook with experiments and activities to let students enjoy a hands-on, up-close experience with weather. The Weather Classroom, a regular on-air program with exciting and dramatic examples of weather in action. Find out how you can offer the Weather Classroom to your students. Contact your local cable operator right away. It's not easy knowing how to dress your kids for school every day. Will it rain? Will it storm? Will it be cool? Will it be warm? Don't despair. Dressing your kids for school can be downright elementary when you watch the school day forecast on the Weather Channel. So make it a rule to see us before you see them off. The school day forecast weekday mornings, 35 minutes after the hour on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. There's a reason more people go to Sears for a new battery. I can't believe I left my lights on. Only Sears has the Die Hard. Sears is so confident of Die Hard starting power. If you need a jump, Sears will do it absolutely free. Anytime, anywhere. Even if you leave your lights on. That's stranded once. Never again. 
You can count on Die me. More power when you need it most. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's uh, busy. It's 44 past the hour of 8 in the east in case uh, you have to set your watches and clocks. I know a lot of folks losing power over this storm. Here's what's going on now. Uh, the snow actually tapering off across a good majority of New York, Pennsylvania, back throughout West Virginia. Light snow continues here around New Jersey as well. What's happening here is we're going to see the snow start to pick up in parts of Maine as the storm passes on through. The wraparound stuff will come on and we'll see yet a second dosing throughout parts of Maine. Here's what we expect on our snowfall totals. We do expect to see some heavy snows. We've already seen heavy snows from Alabama up the coastal areas. Western parts of Maine could see another foot of snow, as well as around Rochester back to Syracuse with the lake-enhanced snows that we're going to see here as well. So the Green Mountains, the Adirondacks, uh, the Berkshires, you're going to all benefit with as much as four feet of snow by the time things are said and done. Our snowy travel will continue across the northeast as well as in the west. A new storm coming on in here. Things taper off by tonight, confined mainly to northern Maine. Skiers, call 1-900-WEATHER for detailed regional ski forecast to help you choose when and where to ski. 95 cents a minute, 1-900-WEATHER. When you think of quality floor coverings, you think of Mohawk Carpet Plus. And when you think of fantastic savings, you think of their annual February-March sale, going on from February 1st till March 31st. You'll find huge savings even on special order items. Carpeting, oriental, and area rugs, vinyl and wood flooring, window treatments, wall coverings, stock furniture, and more. All that huge savings. Mohawk Carpet Plus, 41 Woodport Road in Sparta. When your Volkswagen, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, or Porsche needs quality, affordable service, Intercar on Route 206 north of Newton is the place to go. Our factory-trained service technicians use the latest state-of-the-art equipment available to save you time and money. When your car needs quality, affordable service, that's the time to go right down to Intercar on Route 206, north of Newton. Accurate and dependable forecasts you can always turn to. And when you're away from your television, the Weather Channel forecast is also available from the following. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. Special regional information. local radar showing any precipitation in your area. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. Miserable sinus and nasal congestion? If you think prescription strength medicine will bring you relief, you're absolutely right. Now, Tavis D in its full prescription strength is available without a prescription. Just one tablet helps relieve 12 hours worth of painful congestion and sneezing. That's absolutely right. Tavis D. And now for allergy sufferers, Tavis 1. Both. One tablet, 12 hours, and no prescription. Look for Tavis at these fine stores. The following is for veterans, their spouses, and widows, age 50 to 75. Uh, lottery tickets. We never missed a week. My husband and I knew the odds were ridiculous, but it's only a couple of bucks, and it was fun. Then Ron died six months ago, and I found out we didn't have enough life insurance. I owed almost $6,000. Turns out we could have easily afforded extra life insurance for the price of a couple of these. Veterans Life Insurance Company announces term life insurance for as little as $1 a week, just for veterans, their spouses, and widows aged 50 to 75. Call this toll-free number for free information. There's no medical exam, no waiting period, and your benefits never go down. 
I have my own policy now for veterans' life. So someday my kids won't have to go through what I just did. Call 1-800-533-9800 now for free information about Dollar a Week Veterans Life Insurance. Operators are standing by. Okay, big storm to talk about. Of course, we've been following this storm. Not only has there been a lot of snow, a lot of cold air. Check this out now. After the storm passes by, it really gives that cold air a chance to come on down. And we have seen record lows all over the place. International Falls to Austin, Texas. We've had record lows set all over the southeast due to the new uh, fresh pack of snow. Here's just a couple of record lows that we can get you. Uh, Peoria, 6 degrees this morning. Huntsville, Alabama, 12 degrees, way down into the deep south. Tallahassee, Florida this morning, 25. In Daytona Beach came in, 31 degrees down there for the folks that are trying to enjoy spring break. So, indeed, there is quite a problem with the cold air in place. Here's our area of low pressure now. It's over Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So it's moving very quickly out of the region, which is good news. And we're seeing just the wraparound stuff coming around. These lines here are what we call isobars, or lines of equal pressure. And whenever they're packed so very tightly together, indicating wind, and there's a lot of it across the northeast. So now we're dealing with the snow coming to an end. Now we're ha going to have to face the very strong winds that are coming in behind it. West to northwest, they're going to be sustained at times at 50 miles an hour. We've, we had reported gusts of about 70 miles an hour with this thing, so that's going to still lead to some problems with trees snapping, falling on power lines, therefore a lot of folks are going to be without power as this thing passes on through. So we're still not out of the woods yet. Snows have tapered definitely. We could still see a heavy snow band from, let's say, around oh, Rochester towards Syracuse, and then as you head into the western mountains of Maine, some heavy snows there. Burlington, you'll still see several inches of snow as well as this thing passes on by. Here's uh, some impressive snow totals for you. These are all-time records in some cases. 31 inches of snow in Syracuse down to about 14 inches in Caribou with the snow still coming down, even Boston, 13 inches. So needless to say, say uh, a lot of the airports have just basically shut the doors for now until they can get uh, the uh, runways cleared. In fact, I don't even believe some of them are going to try until the snow passes because here we go, we have more snow, we have more wind on top of that, so you just keep clearing the same area a hundred times. So they're going to take it easy and wait until things clear off, so you have, may have to postpone your travels for some time. Swath of snow, very heavy snow fell, foot plus from Birmingham northward, and uh, we're going to continue to see that wintry uh, weather from Maine down throughout the eastern parts of West Virginia. But today, more so dealing with the wind, especially in uh, New York southward than the snow. Snowy travel as well across the west as a new system comes on in. That snow will spread into Colorado tonight. Pick up a few flurries around northern Minnesota. As I mentioned, around Lake Ontario, we're going to see lake enhanced snows there, northern Maine as well. And then we move into Monday. Notice the snow basically comes to an end across the northeast, except for around uh, Lake Ontario. And then more snow for the west, moving across the northern tier of the United States. And this thing is once again going to affect the east by Monday or Tuesday into Wednesday. So more snow for you in the northeast. So you have a couple of days to get the roads cleared and then back into the snow, but it's not going to be what we saw, I will promise you that. 30 mile per hour winds are better along the coastal areas today, so that's going to lead to some brutal wind chills for this afternoon. So please, folks, stay home. Stay put for today. You are here. She has the traveler's checks here. Uh-oh. Well, how about American Express traveler's checks for two? The only checks either of you can use. Don't leave home without them. Available at your nearest American Express travel agency or call this number for the location nearest you. Sun-kissed oranges. Touched by the sun. And enjoyed by everyone under it. Sun-kissed. You have our word on it. Now, your local forecast. Accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the current local conditions. The regional forecast. Your local 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service.
extended forecast. radar showing any precipitation and its movement during the past 90 minutes. Intensity is indicated by the color code at the top of the screen. For the latest winter weather forecasts, cold weather alerts and wind chill forecasts, tune to the Weather Channel at 48 past the hour for the winter weather update, only on the Weather Channel. And now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealer. Okay, travelers, I hope there's not very many of you out there because the roadways are absolutely a disaster area. We are talking about uh, several states declaring state of emergencies and uh, encouraging you to stay off the roadways today. We've got drifts, sometimes up to 10 feet drifts on some of the roads, and this is major roads as well. So I-95, I-87, I-81, I mean, don't even attempt it, folks. Let's just be safe, stay in. We've had reports of up to 40 people losing their lives from this storm as it's passed on through, whether it's been in tornadoes or in uh, trying to travel. So let's be safe and just stay home. So wintry travel for the northeast today, as well as uh, the high elevations of the west moving into parts of Idaho as the new system comes on in. And then we notice that snow really starts to taper off, moving in just to northern Maine by tonight, and some lake-enhanced snows around Lake Ontario. And then we see a new system starting to skid out into the plains, some even some mix down toward Rochester and Des Moines by Monday morning. Windy, windy travel today. Wind gusts upwards of 70 miles an hour. For regional Michelin driver's reports, call the Weather Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER. Ah, isn't it wonderful? A tire so special, it may last as long as you own your car. The X-84. Congratulations, it's a Michelin. Backed by an 80,000 mile Treadwear Limited Warranty. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you, because so much is riding on your tires. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Good morning, Tri-State. It's Sunday morning and it's stormy, it's cold. And it's a good time to stay home and enjoy your family, uh, start a fire, and uh, maybe just watch a little bit of TV because it's awfully chilly out there, and it's only going to get windier as the day goes on. We do have a wind uh, advisory, or actually a wind warning, high wind warning in effect for today, and that's going to indicate we're going to have 40 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 50 miles an hour, and that's going to spell problems if you head outdoors. Almanac page, it looks like uh, 48, 33 should be the normals today. Unfortunately, we're not going to even touch that. 10.2 inches of snow in Central Park was actually a record for yesterday, believe it or not. Now that snow is starting to blow around. We've got uh, west winds right now gusting to 31 miles an hour, and that is bringing our wind chill down to 6 below zero, and things are going to get worse before they get better. We've got light snow throughout the area. The temperature is actually at 21 degrees, and light snow continues across the tri-state region. We have a few clouds to our north uh, with just uh, light snow confined to the Long Island and uh, most of New Jersey this morning. Temperature is very chilly, 18 degrees in Newburgh. We see we've got 22 right now in Newark and we had several reports of record lows and record setting snowfalls throughout the region. And now we're just trying to uh, see the aftermath of the storm as it pulls out of here. Let's take a look satellite picture then and we'll show you where the storm is right now. It's already racing off into the Northeast very quickly. Right now it's around about Portsmouth, uh, New Hampshire and uh, we can see a lot of cold clouds associated with this thing and we've got wraparound moisture a lot of that uh, cold air moving on in trying to squeeze the moisture out of the air therefore we're talking about a few flurries spread throughout the region the heaviest of snows will be to our west definitely around lake ontario with some lake enhanced snows there and we'll start to see the snows pick up around maine new, uh, new uh, hampshire and vermont and just a few flurries we could see maybe an inch to two inches in some of the areas surrounding our area but we're talking about just light snow and very very gusty winds so uh, we want to keep that in mind and be very careful there 
because it's going to be windy. Okay, yeah, let's go back to our maps now and we'll uh, show you area of low pressure here is quickly, I said, moving out of the area. So that's good news because we're not dealing with this thing anymore, but now we're just dealing with the very strong winds that are coming in behind it and that's going to bring some brutal wind chills, record lows of possibility as we wake up tomorrow morning, so that's definitely going to be a problem. And as high pressure builds in, that means clearing skies late tonight, tomorrow morning, and uh, temperatures dropping like a rock. We've already seen several record lows from Alabama all the way up the East Coast this morning. All right, our forecast for today calls for basically temperatures to hold where they are. We'll have wind and light flurries. Temperatures will drop into single digits to the north tonight, so a very chilly night indeed with the wind. Clearing tomorrow and Tuesday still chilly. Then a new system coming in here Wednesday, bringing us wind and a chance of rain and snow. You're watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day.